Hi, this video is here to help you with finding the mean. The mean is a way of calculating the average of a set of numbers. In maths, we calculate the mean by adding together all of the values and then dividing by the number of values that we started with to find the average value. We can use counters to represent finding the mean of the numbers 4, 6, 3 and 7. First, we add all the values together. 4 add 6 add 3 add 7 equals 20. Then we divide the total by the number of values we have, which is 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So the mean of 4, 6, 3 and 7 is 5. We can write this as a formula mean equals total divided by number of items. Sometimes when we calculate the mean, we have to add together a lot of numbers, which can lead to mistakes. Use number bonds and facts to help you to decide the best order in which to add the numbers and don't forget to use different strategies to check your answers as well. For example, let's find the mean of the numbers on these number cards. First, we need to find the total. To do this, you could group together 12 and 8 to make 20 and 13 and 7 to make another 20. Then add together 20 and 20 and 5 to make a total of 45. Finally, we divide 45 by the number of items, which is 5. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. So the mean of the numbers on the number cards is 9. Now it's your turn. Let's look at this table that shows a goal scored by children in a netball tournament. Pause here and use a formula to find the mean number of goals. Let's check your answer. The total number of goals scored was 35. Did you use number bonds to help you add up the numbers? The bonds you could have used are highlighted in different colours here. Our total is 35 and our number of items, or in this case children, is 7. So the mean is 35 divided by 7, which equals 5. The mean number of goals scored is 5. Now it's time for a challenge. This table shows a temperature in a classroom from Monday to Friday. We've been told that the mean temperature over the week was 20 degrees Celsius. Can you use this information and the information in the table to work out what the temperature was on Thursday? Pause here and have a go. Unpause if you get stuck or when you're ready to check your answer. We already know the mean and the number of items. If we put these numbers into the formula, we can see that the total needs to be 100. The temperatures on the other days add up to 77. 100 subtract 77 equals 23. So the temperature on Thursday must have been 23 degrees. I hope this helped you understand how to find the mean. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out? See you next time.